The thing that, um, that I can tell you about Kevin is, unfortunately, he's been locked up for 19 years. Um, he's serving a life without parole sentence for um, a nonviolent drug conviction. Um, Kevin um, was convicted three times of drug charges. Uh, the first was marijuana and then a second. Each time he was convicted, we asked for rehabilitation. I offered to pay all the charges uh, if they would just please send him, you know, make it mandatory that he go and do whatever, mm -hmm. and I would pay whatever it cost mm -hmm. to uh, get him into rehabilitation because he obviously had a problem. Kevin deserved to be punished for what he was doing, but he does not deserve to pay with his life. And that's uh, his sentence is he's serving a slow death sentence in, in prison. He'll never get to come home unless there's a change in the law. He stays positive. He stays busy. Kevin has learned leather craft since he has been incarcerated, and he does absolutely beautiful work. Um, that's another thing that has gotten him many followers. Uh, the film helped, uh, the house I live in uh, really helped. He had a whole fifth grade class. He got 20 some letters from the class uh, in Seattle, Washington, I believe it was, from one of the schools there that saw his story and they all wrote to him and uh, told him they, they hoped he, he could get out. And, and uh, one or two of them mentioned possibly going into uh, the field that they may be able to help people like Kevin, you know, and change the laws and do some things like that. So uh, that was very, very sweet. And I can tell you that I have called and I have emailed, and I have written letters, and I have gone to in mass incarceration rallies, and I am a big supporter of Oklahoma Cure, all of the things that one can do, but there's only so much you can do. The laws have to change. He's a very positive person. He's kind of like his mama. They ain't going to get us down until we're under the ground. That's all there is to it until then. I will never give up hope.